All right, so we're stuck in Vegas. We've got nothing to do. We're gonna try and rent some exotics. So my F-150 is away at home in the garage, so I guess this is the next best thing. <laughs> on blacktop paper there in California. We met a bunch of California guys here. That one's cool. So we're gonna go to the show and our goal today is to get a lot of content. Um, we're gonna go to the deer booth, get all the working equipment, obviously the deer equipment, and then get try and get some like real good shots to show you how cool a booth they built this year. Cause I mean, as you guys know, it's 80,000 square feet. The biggest booth in Con Expo North America history. Did I mention my feet here? <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Primo. Thank you, man. Congratulations, Eliana. This is our niece. She is 16 years old, big into fashion. She's always drawing, coloring, making clothing. Her mom said, you gotta do this competition. So this is her artwork right here. She is a young girl, maybe gonna be in construction, we don't know, but she's pushing for women in construction and we love it. I got two girls myself. Thank you, Liliana, we love you. Keep going, girlfriend. That was first take, too. <laughs> first shot. That was the first drawing she did, and she killed it. Welcome to Con Expo 2023. I'm Evan Clark, Vice President for Kleeman. Let me tell you what we have on the show. So, it's been one of the best shows ever, in my opinion, since I've been doing this business. And we've had so many customers coming through and dealers. And I first and foremost want to thank everybody for making the effort to come and see us at Con Expo. This year, we actually exhibited the MC110 Evo 2 Jaw Crusher, one of our favorite machines. We also, after that, had the MC090 Evo Cone Crusher, a very popular machine in the North American market. But more popular than all those machines is the Impactor, the MR110 Evo Impactor, which we exhibited behind me here. And this machine here has been a real great hit at the show and a great hit in North America full stop. But one of the biggest machines we've brought into the market this year, one of the newest, should I say, is the MSS802 scalping screen. It's a machine completely built by, by Birkin Group, John Deere, with the John Deere engine and it's been, again, another huge hit into the North American market. We also have a lot of technology. Technology is pretty unique to Kleeman. We have our Spective system, which is a full control system that allows any operator to easily operate the machine, run the machine, follow the diagnostics of the machine. We also have Spective Connect, which allows an operator to use his iPhone and connect to the crushers, and that allows him to see all the data, all the telematics, everything he needs to see, um, whether it's got a bell scale on the machine or whatever. But the one thing that we launched at the show, which is brand new to North America, is the job site configurator. And this is a built-in app into the machine and an iPhone that allows you to configure the machine any way you want. You can basically set the machine up based on the application tons per hour, and when you go through the process and put that data into the machine, it allows the machine to configure itself, or multiple machines to configure themselves, to make sure you optimize production and throughput through that machine. So that's it from Con Expo 2023. It's been one hell of a show. Thank you for all coming, and I'm out. All right, so this is the brand new Vogler Super 1703-3i. Um, this is the new model, but it's the same size of the machine that we're running. Ours is a 5200, it's, it's a later model. Um, in a perfect world, I'd have one of these and then another one on tracks with, this, with the slick rubber band tracks. Um, so I would love this to be our next machine, I'm trying to speak that into existence. Anyways, these Vogler pavers, they are the best. This is my favorite machine I've ever ran. Uh, it's a workhorse. It's funny, I always tell people, you open up this hood on this machine and it, it looks like rocket science, right? And 
looks like rocket science to me. I've never even changed the hose in there. We've changed a couple fuses and that's it, man. I, I couldn't be happier with a machine like this. So there's a couple things on this machine that like features that we want. Obviously this canopy. Um, I don't know how realistic it is in the Northeast because we're always paving up against branches and trees and stuff. But as far as the sun beating down on you, I'll take my chances. I definitely want one of these. Um, it's got like built-in lights. Obviously it's equipped with the balloon lights which help a lot. And this machine doesn't have it, I don't think, but up here on this light, there's usually like a light and there's a green and a red X and it's for the driver so they can communicate with each other. Um, just little details on this machine that makes, I mean, what Verkin does in Vogela. So this is your tow point. And um, I don't know if this one's lit up, but a lot of them, this lights up on lights. So if you're paving at night, you can see it. Guys think we're crazy, but when I run the screen all day and We've never even touched our cranks. We're totally toe point. It's just a lot smoother. A lot of guys like to crank still, a lot of old school guys, but man, our cranks, they say, they probably don't even turn now because we've never even turned them. But uh, yeah, we're toe point guys and it's been great. If you're, especially if you're like laying base, you know, your base isn't always perfect. You could run this machine out here. Um, you know, run this machine out here, you got a lot better vision. You're not in the heat. You're not standing on the paver all day, so. That's a big reason why we run the tow points as well. I'll tell you what, if we had this, if we had this on a hot day and we're waiting on mix, I know where the guys would be hanging out. Right here. So obviously pavers don't have cockpits like a grader would or an excavator, but I mean, this is luxury paving right here, baby. What I like about this, it's, it's pretty much the same setup as our paver and it swings out, um, but you got glass right here. So, you know, in our climate in the Northeast, that little wind protection is big time. And you got heated seats. I mean, with the canopy, you know, you get in the morning and you don't have your, your seats not covered in ice. When you turn your heat on your screen, you could just turn the heat on your seat. As my dad likes to say, this is 21st century shit right here. I mean, we, we want this, but our machine is like too good to us. It won't die. But like I said, if we were gonna buy one of these, maybe we would get the tire machine because uh, we already have the track machine and we can have one of both or I would like to have three, so. John Deere, if you can make that happen, that'd be great. <laughs> so, heated seat, air ride seat. So this is all wheel drive. I got a forward and reverse auger, vibrator, heat. It's still just one thermostat. It's my biggest pet peeve, one thermostat. And you're running half a pass, right? I mean, the other side's cold. And then like the end gates, and paying all this money for heated end gates, the main street is hot and they're not getting no heat to the ends. And the only time they really heat up is if you have the whole thing off the ground and it heats easily. It's pretty much the same up front, right? Yeah, I get it. Does this turn what? more? Um, it does. It turns that much. Yeah. Like, can I straighten it to my yeah. body? You can release that. And just... yeah. There we go. Okay. That's yeah. it. And then there's a release over here for it to slide down. Right, that's locked in there now. It's oh, crazy how big of a difference this makes. Oh my god, it's huge. With heated seats? Bro, I need that. So for me, you know, if you're paving, right, and we're trying to push, 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 sometimes that truck is handling us a little bit, depending on what they're doing down there. If he's carrying more, he's carrying less. I gotta like counter. Yeah. And that could get you know how tiresome. You got, but then the guy is never consistent. So you load it a little bit left or you load it a little bit right and right. then he decides to let go of his brakes and you go that way. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Or so, you forget where you are. I do right. appreciate the fact that you give us the uh, where it is. Right. Because yeah. you could bump, 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 bump yeah, and you yeah. could see it. You can see the icon, yeah. you know, how much you did. But right. it's the same thing with when you're doing like a cola sign. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Like you bump, 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 and then you say, okay, I'm getting a little tight, and then you can back it down right. a little bit. Right. I actually love playing with that. I do like, too. Yeah, when you yeah. when you're pushing a truck, it, yeah. it makes all the difference in the world. My brother Billy got me this for his wedding. Hmm. What does it say? It says kick. Asphalt. <laughs> Go. All right, so Melissa from Con Expo was nice enough to get us a private helicopter tour over the Las Vegas Strip. Never done this before. I'm a little sketched out, but should be cool. So my man got us here on time. Here we go. Good man. <laughs> Good show.
Instagram. Yeah. You follow, I follow back. All right, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, sir. All, All right, right, buddy. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right. I'm actually looking to buy it. Reverse. You're probably too young for that. No, I did it. I was doing it all over my notebooks. I would do that and put the H A N E. Oh, yeah, because you were Shane. Right? Yes, of course, of course. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's find Taylor's. Where's Taylor's? We got American Pavement up here. Con Expo here. We're looking for Can, Mr. Can Watt Construction. Yes, sir. Oh, that's Taylor. We're partner. Oh. Let's go get him, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in your town, I'm coming your way. Just wait up. Me and my team ain't taking no L's. I told him you don't want to play us. We go in that town with a flight in the morning. So if they go, I'm just gonna stay up. Remember last year, I told him the price, and now they all wanna pay up. They hit me now, they coming too late. All our replies is save up. Me and my guys, we did it ourselves. So no one can say that they made us. They gave me the shit, they trying to guard me. I told him you gotta go straight up. We eating for days, I've been in the gym. Yeah. Alright, so we're stuck in Vegas. Got nothing to do. So we're gonna try to rent some exotics. Yeah, cherry red Ferrari. Take your pick, baby. Where's your F-150? It's out front. I want to take the truck. <laughs> this is dangerous, bro. Yeah. What do you want, Manny? The rolls? Yeah, we gotta get the drop top rolls for sure. Drop top rolls. Yeah. All right, so we're at Dream Exotics right now. Uh, we woke up yesterday to a canceled flight. Um, so John Deere was nice enough to uh, rent us a Ferrari and a Rolls Royce. We're gonna take it out to the, to the desert. Let's go. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're paying for it ourselves. So my f 150s is way at home in the garage, so I guess this is the next best thing. <laughs> It's all for black time. Being good at black time. I told a ma that I was soon. Soon. No, it's a child back in the womb. Oh. Told us to back. I need my broom. Broom. Hop in the car. Watch it go from. I'm in a whip, so I got a zoom. They trying to talk. They not in a room. We took the tour. They said that it gets so hot down here. They were like, stay hydrated, stay hydrated. Don't realize that you're sweating because it's so hot that you're sweating and it's drying as soon as it hits. So you will not sweat, but you're really dying. <laughs> I'd have loved to work on this thing, man. I'd have loved to build this. See how they built it with the concrete, how they poured the concrete? The guy just he designed cable systems to pull to get the cement to the guys quicker. Slide them across. And they pour sections at a time so it would cure. <laughs> Look at that, see? That's crazy. They sent them into town to water them up. Yeah, so most people that don't know that never visit, they thought that they think you think the water comes over the dam. And it doesn't. It doesn't, it comes around. There's the tunnel, I think. One of the exits, maybe. Yeah, so see that down? I thought they said it. You see that down there, that, that room? Yeah. So when you go on a tour, you go in there, and that's where all the power is from all the hot water coming out of the pipes in the dam to keep the concrete cool. Because so there was so much heat in the concrete, that they figured out that they had to put pipes in it to cool it. I heard record this. You should, no, you should be getting the knowledge from it. Oh, um, sorry. And so, but it was, there was no seams, it was continuous because they, they couldn't have a joint because they figured it would leak. But they'd be pouring over here, and then three blocks lower, they'd be pouring down below. There's a little crack, huh? So, uh, what are the lines? This but this is like 400 feet thick, and I don't think it's ever going to cure. So, what are the lines? Just well, where they pulled off the, the yeah. wood. Oh. They pulled the wood off. Those were all boxes, they were built boxes. Look like oh, Tetris, exactly. I, 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 I
and they built so it like still Texas. forms. But right, they couldn't pour yeah. all the way up this wall and then move because the concrete oh, yeah. would. So they had a box, 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 right? Tetris, exactly. So fill them up as they went. Talk about the man who built America? Right there, brother. That guy. It's dope. I'm glad we came out here. It's like bucket list stuff. What do you think? Honestly, I'm ready to get back in that Rolls Royce. <laughs> We're drifting in the dark. Can we do better? That there was concrete plants and everything down there, and they flooded it, left it all right there. See the red sign there. Y'all pulled up looking like movie that stars. Man. That that. <laughs> It's hit so different, dude, dude. It don't get much better this than Rolls Royce, bro. man. Yeah, it's crazy. She's massaging my ass right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's the best, man. Hell yeah. Come on, baby. You my coat? That Louis Vuitton. In the Corvette. In the trunk. Front. Front. In the front. So we just had a blast out at the Hoover Dam with these cars. My guy Mike from Dream Exotic hooked it up. Hey, brother, it was Appreciate a pleasure it. to meet you anytime, my man. We got him in the call log now. <laughs> Made a contact, right? Made a contact. Right. New contact. Uh, you guys right. are great. Dream Exotics, Vegas, baby. This is That's the place good. to go. See Mike. Whoop. We're waiting for our bag, Brian. Okay. You guys are going right there. You guys going to the airport? Yeah. Which airline are you going to? Jeff Blue. Jeff Blue. 120. I'll go to the Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Con Expo 2023. We had an absolute blast. Best show I've ever been to. Uh, we met a ton of great people. That was probably the highlight of the show. Was meeting all these people that maybe have known us online or that we have relationships with, and uh, got to hang out with them, talk a lot. Obviously, our flight was canceled yesterday, so we're still in Vegas and uh, we're ready to go home. So it's time to get on this plane and edit this video, baby. <laughs> Made it through TSA. Hard part's over. Uh, time to edit. Fun part starts. Yeah. Oh, we gotta buy some Red Bulls.